Okay. Back to our launch vehicle, though. Plenty of fuel left over, but that's probably not the problem that we may face. We're going to be starting up pretty high. It looks like maybe above 130 kilometers. And I'll wait till we go around to that point before really adjusting this. I don't know, I guess we'd have to go lower in the atmosphere for it to work out, right? Because now it's thinner. Let me go with the shuttles out. Well, the shuttle will be high, uh, lower than this would be. 27, how about 28? Okay, let's go with this. From my experience, what are the changes to the atmosphere and thermodynamics in 1.04 like? Um, well, the atmosphere has less drag, which means it also has less lift. So uh, the landing speed for aircraft is higher. Um, Mitko says you should also use drogue chutes. Yeah, that's the thing. The parachutes now have issues. Uh, we have that going for us. They decide to disintegrate at uh, high speed and high altitude now. Okay, that'll do. Holding retrograde. Yeah, so probably what we should do is replace the upper 12 parachutes, the first 12 parachutes I've got deploying with drogue chutes instead. And uh, next time we launch this, probably with the land, well the lander should be something lightweight, maybe we won't have to use this for the lander, but we'll see. Need to be below uh, 250 meters per second for this deploying the standard parachutes, yeah. Well, we have the air brakes, hopefully that'll help us out, and we've got plenty of fuel. Thankfully with the Space Shuttle's boosters, I had already planned for that, but I haven't planned for that with this. Not that the Space Shuttle's, the EDB Shuttle's boosters actually get recovered, but in principle. Oh, we can right-click on the parachutes to see if they're safe. Okay, safe to deploy, unsafe, okay. So noted. I think I might have to deploy our air brakes right now. Yeah, okay, I need to deploy air brakes. I, uh, I'm overshooting quite badly. Let me get a temperature overlay. Oh, we've got some mild overheating on the... Is that the brakes? or No, that's not the brakes. Oh, we've got that rotation thing. Yeah, it used to be a norm that the fins would blow up. We are going to find out. Yeah, I know I can also run the engines, but we're doing a test. Yeah, um... You want... I mean, we could, uh, this is water safe. So, I don't mind landing in the water. I want to see how it goes. Because we're going to have to carry heavier payloads. And if you're carrying heavier payloads, we don't have the extra fuel. Okay, but uh, I do agree that we should probably lighten the load. And we're passing the KSC anyway. Uh, we're probably not looking at our fuel situation, but I'll, I'll leave the reserve tanks for later. No, I think we've got the reserve tanks unlocked. Yeah, I think I think I because uh, it always unlocks the tanks whenever I try and reload the files. Doesn't look like the brakes need to be retracted at all now. Well, uh, nothing jumps out at me as being a problem right now.
Yeah, they fixed the memory leak. Uh, not that I was ever getting it anyway. I mean, I didn't really see a huge problem with it in the first place. Got auto spin stabilized. I'm not sure I really need to change that part of the design. Well, I haven't been planning to. We are now past the island runway as well. This is uh, seriously overshooting, but uh, the air brakes didn't need to be retracted. So that's sort of nice. It was a problem for heavier installs. Oh, okay. That uh, memory leak issue. Okay, here we go. I need to pay attention now so I can deploy the parachutes properly. We no longer want to have it hold orbital retrograde now. We seem to be decelerating all right for parachute deployment. I don't need the thermal overlay though. Uh, okay, now we can see it. Let me try and get one of the parachutes opinion on this. Okay, so it still says unsafe. Basically, I've been deploying the parachutes at uh, low speeds anyway. Not quite as low as this. But yeah, I've been waiting for a while for the parachute deployment. Here we go. And the second volley. Okay, all the parachutes are deployed. Landing gear down. I'm gonna take SAS off and uh, stop this thing from spinning. It is just SAS causing it to spin. Uh, dropped a few frames. Uh, might have. Um, yeah, I might have dropped a few frames there, but it seems to be stable right now. So if you need to... Uh, hold on. I need to pay attention to what I'm doing. Yeah, the fins didn't even burn off this time. Yeah, uh, I'd say 250 just to be safe on the parachute deployment. Okay, we're in the water. Oh, uh, we want... Uh... Okay, it looks stable. Recovering vessel. Okay, so... Yep, 124,000 funds recovered. Let's get the station over to Minmus. Cochrane Station. A properly named station. How rare for one of my my little uh, adventures. So, uh, a purplish tint to it. By request. Let's plot the transfer to Minmus. I'm seeing if the moon can help us out here, but I don't think so. Oh, maybe, maybe it's okay. It's not gotta be a big difference. Okay, there we go. We get, uh, it's probably a completely futile boost to Minmus, but hey, I'll take it. It's fancy. Okay, well, this, this, this is a calm sort of thing. Let's good at this. Okay. So it definitely seems like aerodynamic construction is slightly more forgiving for heat, but more demanding for speed. Yeah, braking uh, needs to be a thing. You gotta be able to slow down. That's why the EDB shuttle got uh, extra brakes and that uh, drag parachute. Well, it's, it's hardly a win. It's basically, the moon is getting in my way anyway, so I might as well have it help me. Not really, uh... I wasn't really trying very hard to get that gravity assist. 
Here we go. Okay, let me see what we ended up with here. Okay, that's not quite what I wanted. Okay, that's really not what I want. Uh, oh, maybe it is. Hold on. Oh, okay, that's fine. I was just seeing resulting orbit and panicking. Okay. Electric charge seems fine. I don't think I need to orient particularly on this part of the route. Let's go. Okay. Alright, there we go. Uh, we go to Minmus. So we're just trying to put a station around Minmus right now to fulfill that contract and also to milk Minmus of its science, finally. I have finally decided that it is the time has come to do the Minmus science milking. Okay, here we go, Minmus Sphere of Influence. And let me plot our orbit. Okay. I don't like where that toolbar ambient light adjustment thing. I haven't even. I should have used the ambient light. Oh no, that's not what I wanted to do. I should have used the ambient light adjustment uh, earlier. And maybe a little bit now. Nope, oh, uh, too much, too much. Well, not bad actually. I want it lower. Okay, let's let's actually get it lower. And in a highly inclined orbit to cover more of the biomes of Minmus. So that we can have our lander rendezvous with it. Okay, let me get to well, let's see, contract fulfillment. Let's maintain stability for ten seconds. Ah, there we go. Contract fulfilled. Now let me get the apoapsis down. So next up, we'll get that uh, science milking lander over. What's that altitude? Okay, that'll do, I think. All right, back to Space Center. We are now going to make a uh, Minmus science milking lander complete with uh, a Kerbal scientist to reset the Science Junior and Goo containers and all that. Because we need more science so that we can... Okay, it looks like the Science Junior should actually be on top. Looks weird, but I think I'm gonna go with that. Yeah, we've got those tourists stranded on Leif. We've got three tourists stranded on Leif that we will eventually need to rescue. But we don't have this technology to do so yet. Have I tried to make a Boeing E3 Sentry? No. I mean, uh, just uh, build yourself an airliner with a big disc on the top? Sort of, yeah. Um, yeah. I haven't really made... The only airliner I've ever made in uh, Kerbal is uh, Concorde. And that wasn't a particularly good one. So I'm trying to think of how I, I'm worried about the fact that we don't have a gravioli. How much how much science will the gravioli take to unlock? Let me just call this Minmus Lander for now. Uh, uh, Minmus Science Spammer. There we go. That's what I want. Oh wait, there's this one. Ah, okay. So 300 and then more. Well, we can't even research that yet. Okay, so uh, science parts. The, oh, this! Kerbal Engineer! Kerbal Engineer. I guess we should get it, huh? I guess I'll toss it on. Haven't really used Kerbal Engineer in this way. Do I have any small thrusters I can mount radially? Um, hold on, let me show you what I'm thinking of, and then uh, we'll we'll talk about it. But um, maybe a 
because uh, I I don't want to have to, I'm once again trying to avoid having a fairing okay guys uh, I don't want to use these guys the spiders because the spiders have well let's see what kind of thrust does this have yeah this looks fine right Minmus yeah this got this is, this has plenty of thrust to wait for Minmus Just a little bit tall. Not horribly so. You don't really need the radial engines, and I don't like the radial engines because of their ISP being so low compared to this one. And so, if I wanted to double my thrust weight ratio, there we go. But uh, let's actually reverse the fuel flow. Stop fearing mass has been reduced by 50% according to the forums. Well, okay, well let's see about that. Let's let's see about that right now, because I I have to decide whether to put uh, I've got to put nose cones on this if I want to have no fairing. Let's see. It's that's not really our only problem though, but. Uh, so I'm not putting the docking port on the bomb because I've put the nose cone here. But let's say we dump the nose cone, and there's 3.1 tons, and aerodynamics, let's just do 2.5 meter, gotta go a little bit out, I guess we'll do sort of a atlas sort of thing, well almost. Oh, that's not bad. Okay, that that is acceptable. I'll take that. Usually put the instruments on both sides of the crew hatch for easier access. Ah, that's not a bad idea. Of course, this is Minmus. No, no, I don't want symmetry. That looks okay. All right, so maybe a ladder, and then landing lights. Gotta remember landing lights. Yeah, the science junior does make every ship ugly. I I despise it. Ah, uh, yeah, I'm gonna add docking port, and I need to add. Thank you for reminding me. I need to add the RCS fuel tank on top of this. Legit for a science instrument to be big? I don't know. I've, a lot of probes, they tend to have very small science instruments and they tend to be peppered with them. If you've seen the interplanetary probes we've got, they've got a lot of really tiny instruments all over the place. How about there's just one science instrument? Well, that's a little bit different. If this, if this thing said space telescope, I wouldn't argue. Just remember to collect the data at the science lab before sending any data back. Yeah, we... well, we'll get to that part. Well, shall we try the good old way of making a Falcon 9-ish thing? It's overpowered for this though. I'll put that on the outside. But oh, I wanted to create a launcher that has uh, 1.8 uh, thrust to weight ratio. That's right. This is a lot different from the way it used to be. It used to be a lot harder to get these on. This is gonna overheat like crazy, isn't it? Main sail at the bottom? No, no. I mean, we're trying something fancy. No, no, no. Uh, we, we, we don't need that much. The payload is not that heavy. We don't need the unflippable. The unflippable is too much. It's too expensive. Trying to make some mine, money. That's, uh, that's a good way of putting it. Well, that's 1.7. That's not, uh, that's not atmospheric, though. This is only 1. Point okay, so we need... Well, that's 1.62 atmospheric. But uh, this stage isn't going to get us all the way out. But let's see. What can we do with you, Stage? Can we recover you? 
Actually, I don't think it's a good idea to launch the Kerbal on this experimental thing. Let's not be let, let's not be so experimental if we're gonna launch a Kerbal in. Okay, that will do the trick. Um, maybe add a little bit more fuel and try and make this recoverable? I think that might be pushing it though. Now, how little delta V would it take to get to orbit when we have a high thrust to weight ratio? This is actually not that high, it's 1.64 in uh, real life. So, that's what I'm wondering. Would uh, 3,200 be enough? We've got another launcher like this. Whatever happened to it? Yeah, it's this one, right? Yeah, let's let's revamp the one that we've already. Go, oh, hold on. Let's use it as a model. I think we can improve upon this. This thing had the stupid boosters on the bottom. I don't think we need those anymore. And now we've got the better service bay. Okay, in atmosphere values, 3,500, 3,200 might undershoot. Well, this is not atmosphere values. Atmosphere values, we have 3,200 delta V. We have vacuum, 3,500. And I haven't put the chutes on yet. Put the nose cone on the bottom of these tanks? Uh, but uh, are you saying that because you think they're going to uh, blow up? Or because they're going to create drag? Because I want them to create drag. We're bringing the thrust weight ratio down dramatically now. Okay, I'm not going to make this reusable this time. Let's just let's just uh, make it cheap and get it up there. I will put an extra reaction wheel. We'll do a recoverable launcher next, not with the Kerbal on. And we'll design that one a little bit more properly and do testing. I, I'm in the mood for doing that sort of testing this time. Reducing the fuel of the poodle. Well, now we're now we're in a totally different situation. Uh, we'll we'll do the recoverable launcher separately. I don't want to risk the Kerbal on this, and I want the extra fuel load anyway. We'll we'll look into this sort of thing later. But I w wanted the nine engine design that I was working on earlier anyway. I don't want to remake the main CLSSTO that we already have actually. Mimis Science Spammer, are we ready to go with this mission assuming it is not recoverable? Anything else? Oh! I should probably put solar panels on this, huh? You guys didn't remind me of solar panels. I'm shocked. Always have your lander solar panels facing... tilting a little bit up, of course. Okay, uh, recovery has been more trouble than it's worth and will remain so until we get to the point where rocket production costs dwarf research and development. Um, if we could recover stuff uh, that was disposed of in the atmosphere instead of having to go all the way to orbit before recovering it, I think it'd be worthwhile. I think we could, recovering boosters for instance, uh, mid-flight and uh, if we could jump to them and recover them, I think that might be worthwhile. If they had the biggest engine, like for the EDB shuttle, when I'm using the largest engines, the mammoths, that recovering those would be worthwhile. Uh, but uh, those don't go all the way to orbit. Put the bigger solar panels. Um, I guess we'll put one of those, but they are a little bit more expensive. Uh, how about one extendable one? Yeah, stage recovery. The stage recovery mod works out for that sort of thing. Only because the mammoth costs the same amount no matter how many you buy, not how it works. Well, uh, we're just talking about what would make recovering worthwhile, not comparing it to real life. Real life is a different matter altogether. It's not too expensive, 60000 our contract will pay... Well, not the, the contract we already did will pay for this, but... Okay, I think that just about does it. Let's pick... Uh, well, let's get 
uh, our only scientist in here, Bob. And Bob is going to go with a probe core controlling the thing over to Minmus. I'm not returning this to Kerbin, no. Uh, Bob will have to... Uh, Bob will be docking up with the station we've got in, around Minmus. He'll transfer to that station and if we want to return him, we'll send a recovery vehicle to bring him back. Is this LV meant to get the payload all the way to LKO? Uh, it, it, it doesn't really matter, actually. Uh, we can finish up with the Poodle. Uh, the Poodle has enough to finish up and then... But I think it has enough Delta V to get it to LKO. Okay, for like the first time ever, I have actually action grouped the experiments. Oh, let's not forget. Goo container. Well, just one goo container and materials bay. New orbital station around Lathe. <laughs> I guess that's gonna have to happen at some point. Five Kerbals, though. Oh, sure, why not? Science Day from Space Around Lave? Sure. Science Day from Space Around Minmus. Aha. Oh. Oh, darn, we, we're at the limit. Darn it, I should have seen that in the first place. Dump this contract, because it's a pain in the... Anyway, um... Okay. I should have, I should have gotten that contract, but it's not worth that much. It's fine. Yeah, uh, to the same action group? No, I don't want to go all the way like that. Um, yeah, it, it would uh, throw up too many messages and I'll get all discombobulated. Upgrade the contract building? We're trying to accumulate funds though. Okay, fine. Upgrade the contract building. Let's see how much that costs. You've got me curious. Let me adjust here. Okay. Uh, 564,000? No, I can't upgrade the contract building. I'm not going to. No. We want our funds. We are amassing a war chest. Okay, Bob's in. Rocket looks good. Let's go. Note to future, read all contracts before accepting any. Ah. Ah, yes. Words of wisdom. Okay, here we go. Throttle up. SAS on. Bob, are you ready? Uh, we're, we're trusting that this isn't going to tip over, right? Well, let's find out. Here we go! Uh, this is the wrong music, darn it. Uh, there we go. One thing I've learned that you definitely don't want to do is to stage while doing this turn. Uh, uh, if you want to avoid flipping, it's probably a bad idea. That, that always gets me. At least uh, in 1.0.2 it did. Okay, we are. Uh, we need to turn much faster. Oh, a uh, fairing uh, drop needs to be ahead. And let's let's go ahead with that now. I don't think I got all the benefit of having uh, a huge thrust to weight ratio because my trajectory was pretty horrible. But I think we'll still make orbit just fine. Since when do I play with mods? Well first of all on my YouTube channel I play with mods all the time. Uh, but I uh, I decided to throw in Kerbal Engineer and uh, Ambient Light Adjustment. Uh, after other... Uh, who was it? Um, it was Das Valdez who said that uh, you should always have ambient light adjustment. And I think it was Shimmy who said you should always have Kerbal Engineer even if you're playing stock, so I went, okay. <laughs> Whatever. Uh, it's, it's gotten to the point where if I tried to calculate the Delta V by hand, I could do it. But uh, it would be very tedious for you guys to watch. So that's why I threw in Kerbal Engineer. And of course, ambient light adjustment is for you guys as well. Also, easier for me to look at it too. So it's just uh, just viewer-friendly mods in this case. Ooh, the colonization series is with mods. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The infamous colonization series.
Okay, that is quite good enough. We'll uh, hang on to this and have it boost us a little bit of the ways to Minmus. Yeah, well, I'm not using any mods that are going to uh, affect gameplay much. Yep, we don't need quite as much delta V, especially with the high thrust weight ratio. Looks like that. You use, jet, you use jet engines as boosters when you want to save delta V, and you have too many part count. Eh. If I'm gonna use jet engines, uh, I'll put them on an aircraft, a space plane. That's it. Yeah, we're. So the the full description of the mission is we are milking science out of Minmus in order to uh, get the technology that will help us save our three tourists who are currently stranded on the surface of Laith. That is what we're doing, and we need funds as well. Oh shoot! I did this too quickly. Paying attention to chat. Ah. Hey, how much Delta V do I have left? Well, I've got this thing, uh, oh, that's not, oh, it's down there. Uh, oh, we got plenty. Okay. Alright. This time, wait for the maneuver node. Okay, well, that's a minimum. Let's just head over there, we'll get into orbit just fine. Talking about reusable, what about building the main engine as a re-entering module that has chutes? Ah, uh, yeah. Uh, that, uh... Yeah. Uh, so that's that's the idea that uh, Boeing, uh, ULA, United Launch Alliance, might be trying. And also, I think the, the Ariane the, and the European Space Agency might be doing it with one of their rockets as well. Just recovering the engines without recovering the entire stack. Um, that has generally not been the way to go as for me. I've generally tried to recover the whole thing. And that's because the fuel tanks in Curl Space Program are fairly expensive uh, when uh, compared to the engines. And all the other fiddly bits too, of course. The engines are way more expensive than the fuel tanks in real life, but not quite as big a difference in Ker Kerbal Space Program, so it's nicer to retrieve the entire stage in, in here. Okay. That'll do. Once again, this is a lander that's trying to get science from Minmus, so a polar orbit is pretty good. Okay. Minmus, where are you, Minmus? Are we above you, below you? Heck, let's just burn for a bit and find you later. Okay, so let's head over to our periapsis and then we'll see about Minmus. So I think I'm gonna make one landing with this and I wanna go to trying out making that reusable launch vehicle. The high thrust weight ratio, lightweight one. Not to compete with the unflippable, but something that can carry light, lighter loads than the unflippable. What about RSS? Aren't the fuel tanks in RPO? Yeah, yeah. R RSS, uh, it would be much more efficient to uh, bring back down just the engines and just discard the fuel tanks. Absolutely. Hi, Gabite. Okay, so uh, we are now in a decent orbit, and judging from where we planted our flag, I don't think we've hit this place at all. So why don't I bring the orbit down, and a little bit to... Hold on, let me just plot it. And so our poodle stage will end up smacking into Minmus, which is... Oh, hello. Okay. Which is fine. Uh, unfortunately, it's still got some fuel left, which is sad, but unavoidable. Could have dumped 
could dump the fuel at the station. Could have, but uh, I think we're a little bit past that now. I I, I wonder. Uh, I think we're we might be orbiting in the opposite direction as a station, are we? Uh, rendezvous. Relative inclination, yeah, we're we're opposite the station right now, so it'll be a pain to try and uh, well, it'll cost all the fuel in the poodle stage to try and rendezvous right now. So let's not do that. Is our fuel enough? Yeah, our fuel's enough. Um, taking a look at the vessel, we've got 1,172 in the lander stage. Uh, have trouble docking to other stations? Any tips? Maybe we should just do that. Uh, I think the best way for me to give any tips might be just to show how I do it. I guess I'll do that. Oh, I'm using the poodle for braking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll be using the poodle all the way down until like, you know, very low levels. Never go faster than 0.3 meters per second while docking. Yep, once you get close, be, yeah, that's a, that's a good suggestion. There's no quick save. It's hard mode. And this Minmus. I I would blush at the thought of having to quick save landing on Minmus. That would be embarrassing. So I guess I'll keep the poodle until we're like uh within a thousand, I guess. Okay, let's get rid of the poodle here. It's alright, it's alright. That, that was not a problem. This is not gonna get off the surface very quickly, I'll tell you that right now. Oh, I wasn't expecting that one. Okay, we're down. All right, Bob. Well, uh, you can probably do some stuff, right? Report. Uh, yeah, we can transmit that. Let's not waste any time getting our science. Okay, uh, why don't you EVA for us, Bob? Uh, don't scoot up, scoot down, actually. EVA report uh, from space just above, we've already done that. Okay, uh, let's extend that ladder. Stop scooting up, I don't know why you're doing that. Uh, I guess you could log temperature and seismic data, seismic data. We'll keep that. We'll have to bring Bob back with this data, I guess. Keep data. Okay, Bob, stop scooting up. Why are you scooting up? Take the data. <sighs> Come on. Okay, and store those. Okay. Take the EVA report anyway, you can put it in the lab. That does something? Anyway, I, I'll get this one right now. Take surface sample, plant flag. Okay, what have you guys been saying while I was trying to land? Okay, hold on. Uh, uh, greater flats. Greater flats. The date milking minus for all it's it is worth part one. Now I think we're getting back to substantive uh, topics. Yes, put the data in the lab first, then transmit it. Okay, we will do that then. Let me board him. Somebody said, uh, okay, EVA, and then do the crew report anyway. 
so keep data board must have something not quite calibrated right for him to keep shifting up like that okay observe materials bay here's the thing so uh, keep data EVA this is actually what I wanted him for so can he can reset this right doesn't seem to be able to right now oh wait uh, collect data remove data okay back up again looks like it's just a little bit too high for him restore okay great uh, grab again ah you fell first I should put some rungs on the t oh you knocked your pod don't do that okay every step is like a little bit too far right now come on Bob you're a scientist can you figure this out maybe a little bit more subtle don't tell me I need fine controls to get you to the ladder okay I might do okay how about maybe maybe you're a little bit better off with the jetpack actually there we go goo container observe mystery goo deploy is a funny way of putting it can't reach the goo container okay uh, jet oh, come on here go forward go forward just go forward now uh, collect data and restore yes operational again excellent oh, man there we go oh sort of okay forward oh my god okay